Hey gents, today we're going to be looking at Thursday boots and Thursday boots shoes. Uh, the Duke Chelsea's I've had for two years, November of 17, I picked these up and then I ordered these August of 2018 for the shoes from their very first collection. And after having worn them quite a bit, I wanna talk about my experience with them and give you some recommendations. The first place to start is I did a video with Trenton and Heath who are cobblers out of Nashville. I went to their shop and shot a video for my channel where they compared Thursday boots to Allen Edmonds and talked about how Thursday boots actually makes really good value shoes. So I'll link it to that below so you can check that out, cobbler's perspective on if the shoes are any good. And first we'll talk about the Chelsea's. I've had these the longest. I, this was my first run in with Thursdays and I believe it was my first pair of actual Chelsea boots that I had in my collection and they've served me very well. Thursday boots tends to be loved and hated in the Goodyear Welt subreddit. The big thing with Thursday boots is that they are Goodyear welted shoes made in Mexico and they are hitting a price point which previously was not really accomplished by traditional boot makers. And for that, they had to cut out some of the uh, you know, expenses associated with those shoes to hit the $200 price point. So my stance on Thursday boots and where Trenton and Heath basically end up is that these are great shoes for the price, but they're not worth you know $400 where you would see someone like Allen Edmonds. That being said, I love these Chelsea boots because they use a killer weatherproof suede. This becomes like my de facto winter boot when the snow comes because I know I can get them wet, I can get them dirty, they wash off really well. My issue with the opening here is that it's a little bit too wide for my like shin calf area, like where this sits. It made me fall in love with Chelsea boots. The fact that they're basically slip-ons, you can put them on really easily, take them off. The, the weatherproofness of this is really great. And they were extremely comfortable. Now, I also read online about the Thursday drop and I did not experience that until very recently. So almost two years after wearing these shoes. If you wear the shoes a lot, the custom cork insole that is used in the shoes ends up wearing out which then you send them away and you can get them resold, which is really nice. And when you get them resold, you can get them resold with, you know, that custom cork rubber again. And so that's kind of like the price that you're paying for the $200 boot is that you get a shoe that you'll end up getting needed to have resold maybe a little sooner than others. Uh, but I found these to be extremely cushioned and comfortable right up until a couple of months ago when I did start to feel a lot harder, especially on the heel. Uh, that's really where I could feel that, you know, it had given out a little bit, but I think, you know, for $200, you're really getting a good boot here. And that takes us to the Oxfords. The Oxfords have a very similar trajectory as the Chelsea boots. They are really good value. They are really comfortable right out of the box. Actually still having these for one year and not having worn a whole lot. Uh, I have not experienced the drop on these yet, but, when it comes to comparing you know, Thursday boots to someone like Allen Edmonds, because they're both American shoemakers, uh, you know, these are made in Mexico versus Allen Edmonds stuff, but they have very American styles. But the leather on this isn't as nice as Allen Edmonds stuff. And then you start to look at, well, you have Allen Edmonds factory seconds. Those will sometimes come down to around $200, sometimes less or Thursday boots. And so if you want to wait for factory seconds and hope you get a deal on the right pair of shoes that you want from Allen Edmonds, or you can just go buy Thursday boots at the $200 price point. It's like, you know, I would pick the Thursday because I hate waiting for sales and playing the game. Like, is it gonna fit and that sort of thing? But it is inarguable to me after owning several pairs of Allen Edmonds that the, the raw materials, the leather that is used, the cork insole and that sort of stuff is higher quality, which is why the shoes typically retail for $400 versus $200. $180 is just really hard to beat for the shoe. And I know, because I, buy almost all of them and have worn most of them and have reviewed them. And like, I just did a video on Mirman and I talked about this. It's like, yes, Mirman makes Goodyear welted shoes. They're Mirman Mallorca, they're finished in Spain, but Thursday Boots has free shipping, free returns, and the shoes are just as well made as the Mirman stuff. Now, Mirman does have some of their lines. They do Shell Cordovan and they do uh, their, some of their leathers are nicer, definitely a fact but the hassle and experience that I've gone through with Mirman on three different occasions uh, is like exactly why Thursday Boots continues to kill it because as, even as I read more of the reviews online, Thursday Boots goes through similar things as Allen Edmonds where there are very few customers that have ever been completely put out by you know shoes that haven't fit correctly or the order didn't work out. Thursday Boots customer service really wants to make things right and they will do that. Whereas you know with Mirman, it's like kind of hit or miss from what from what I've experienced personally and from what I've read online. And so 
Uh, I think Thursday boots are one of the best values out there. Yes, there are flaws and problems with them, but for the price that they're delivering these shoes, they're really tough to beat. So there you have it, gents. I hope that helps with Thursday Boots. I don't have any you know, relationship with Thursday Boots other than just having an affiliate link, which if you buy, that supports the channel, but that's my way of being able to review these things objectively because if they were crap shoes, I would say they're crap shoes. As with anything, you spend more money, you'll get something nicer, but if you're trying to find really nice quality stuff at that $200 price point, then Thursday Boots is a really great place to look. And as evidenced by my two-year-old boots, I'm really happy with them. And maybe I'll document the process of getting those resold because uh, I love the Chelsea boots and it's it's helped expand my collection of Chelsea boots beyond uh, just this first one. And so, as always, gents, I want to hear from you. What is your experience with Thursday boots? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Uh, am I crazy? I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.